Today, in science, we are going to build pinhole cameras. This one's going to be real tough to do from home, uh, but it'll be fun. You'll, uh, you'll get to build something and explore with it, um, and it will be quite the experiment. So first, I have a few videos for you to watch. We're going to build two things. We're going to build sundials and we're gonna build a pinhole camera. And so watch these videos, uh, pause my video and watch those videos to give yourself a sense of, of how to build it. Do that now. Okay, I guess you've done that. Uh, so you can see that both can be made pretty simply, uh, the sundial especially, the pinhole camera takes a little bit more work and a little bit more materials. And so you'll have to Try to get your hands on those materials. Um, so good luck. How this works, um, how the pinhole camera works, is there's a tiny, tiny hole. That's why it's called a pinhole that you allow the sun into. And then your head goes in here and you look away from the sun at where the sun is is coming in on a piece of paper. Why might you need to use this contraption to look at the sun? Can't you just look at the sun yourself? No, never look directly at the sun. So this is a way that you can actually look at the sun and see whether, um, you know, in this case, maybe the moon's blocking it uh, at that time. So here are your instructions. You need a shoebox, a pin, a sheet of white paper, tinfoil, and tape. So your first step would be to write these materials down and go search around your house for them. If you don't have materials, you could ask your parents if you could go buy some at some point. If you're unable to get the materials, it's okay. You have lots of time. Three months, in fact three months to get this done. <laughs> but I'm hoping many of us can get this done by the end of the week. So you cut a five centimeter square out of one end of the shoebox. Then you cover that little square with a piece of tin foil and you tape that into place, making sure that the tin foil is flat. So we're talking about this part here. You cut a hole in and then you cover it with tin foil. You poke a tiny hole in the center of that tin foil with a pin, bloop, and then you place a sheet of white paper on the inside of, box, of the box at the opposite end, over here. And then to view, you hold, oh, you hold the box above your head with the pinfold facing toward the eclipse, or just towards the normal side. And then you face the screen with your back to the eclipse, and an upside down image will form on the screen. So this is one example um, there's different styles. This is the vertical style. Uh, if you look up pinhole camera, you might find some, some different types, and that's great. Uh, there's a link on slide 44 that brings you to a more detailed instruction of how to make a sundial. You also are going to make... Sorry, this is the instructions of how to make a sundial, which you're also expected to make. And so a sundial, the way it works is that you have this nom, nomen, a stick in the middle, and as the sun moves across the sky, the shadow moves. And you can tell what time it is based on where the shadow falls. This is how we told, were able to tell time before there was watches and clocks. How does a sundial work? Write that down. Explain it to yourself. Explain it to a friend. So that's the lesson for today. It's really just instructions on an activity uh, to build yourself a sundial and a pinhole camera. Um, this is probably the most challenging activity in that you really need to have some wherewithal to find the materials and build the materials and, and all of that. So be patient with yourself and with your family and with your home. Um, because this is a tough thing for you to just do on your own.
But if you do, I'll be very impressed. Enjoy.